There's an idea in strategic thinking that says that if you want to make better decisions, if you want to move faster, and if you want to be more agile as an organisation, you need to think of your organisation or your church a bit like a boat. Now, to help me with this, I've uh, used my son's uh, Duplo boat, and I've used their, the Play-Doh box to fill it with water. Uh, please do not tell my wife. Now, when you think of your organisation a bit like a boat, there is a part of the organisation that sits below the waterline and some of it that sits above the waterline. Now, anything that's above the waterline, if you make changes here, and if you hit something and it makes a dent above the waterline, it may make the boat not very look, look very good, but it's not going to sink the ship. Now, if you make decisions below the waterline, if you make a mistake, you could sink the whole ship because once the water gets in, it's going down. And it's a bit like that with church. If you make decisions here, it's fine. It might do some small damage, may make you not look as good, but it's not gonna sink the ship. So you can delegate those things out, but anything below the waterline, that's gonna be quite serious. So you don't wanna delegate that out. Now here's the interesting thing. The more pressure I put on here, the further the boat goes down into the water. And that pressure is a little bit like the rules, policies, procedures in your church. The more rules and policies you put in your church, the further it goes down into the water and the more decisions you'll have to make below the waterline. But actually, if you try and keep it as light as possible and only have a few things below the waterline, actually you're exerting a lot less pressure and the boat can move faster. That is how to think about decision making in your church. Hi, I'm Chris. I'm from Thinking Church. Thinking Church exists to help your church thrive by helping you think through key strategic items in your church life. If you like this video, then why not hit the subscribe button, give us a thumbs up and uh, drop us a comment because we'd love to interact with you as well. We'll be back with another video very soon. Bye-bye.